there any new stations or anything coming down? I ain't seen nobody yet. And that's the sad part, because they know um, we put out that press release, right. and they know that they're, that this child was raped, not only just, you know, a kid that died in a fire, right. house fire. And, uh, and that's what gets under my skin more than anything is, you know, it needs to be told that she was raped. Yeah. The thing of it is, is I'm, why I want to rape out there about my daughter is because I know she was raped during the day. It didn't happen, and then they set the fire. It was during the day, and that's why they yep. found a small amount of semen was because, you know, she had been leaking, you know, that yeah. stuff all day long. And I believe there would be a better chance somebody seeing something during the daytime that day than there would have been at 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, when she got home from school. Right. Now, when is she supposed to go to your house the next day? That weekend. Yeah. Yeah. And didn't make it. Right. And I think if she would have made it to my house that that weekend, I'd have, I'd have known what was going on. Oh, I yeah. think she was ready to to tell. Yeah. And um, and then I would have been able to know what was going on, and then I'd have done what I had to do. But unfortunately, the same people that killed her knew the same thing. Right. And I think there's more than just them involved. I think that it's it's a little more than it's a bigger picture here yeah. of people involved in my daughter's uh, rape and homicide. So, and and that's what I'm trying to get is somebody to break. Somebody eventually it'll get to somebody's conscience. They won't be able to take it anymore, and somebody will say the right thing. Yeah, hopefully. Well, we'll keep praying for that day. I tell you. Thirteen years is a long time. Too long. But at the same time, I had to look at in that thirteen years what I've done, what I've accomplished, and what Mackenzie has exactly. done. Exactly. You know, and it's woke up this town, it has. That, a town that needed to be woke up. And um, you know, like when, like this here, you know, with the photographs and stuff like that, people need to know what reality is. Exactly. It's easy to say that, oh, a child died, and died in a house fire rolled in arson. That's really not big. A lot of people say, okay, you know, it's kid died easy. in a fire, you know, okay. You know, maybe they'll get the person that did it. But then you got the other side that's easy for them to say, like she did, oh, it was an accident. You don't right. know what you're talking about. It's an accident. But then when you hear rape and you hear that the little girl was raped and they found male semen, which should not have been nowhere near my daughter's exactly. body. Um, it makes it a different, you know, and yeah. then you look at the mom and say, really? How do you rape a child accidentally? Exactly. So now there's no more, oh, this could have been an accident. You see what I'm saying? So actually by time, you know, and it's, and it's let me build what I built. Exactly. They made the mistakes. Oh, yes, And they, they gave me the time to find what I needed to find. Oh yeah, and and so in time it did help in in some ways because if they'd have done stuff in the beginning, I might not have been able to find out all this right. and who was involved. So by let me you know pushing me to the side and giving me time, I was able to discover a lot more than just the murder and rape of Mackenzie. Exactly. So and like I said, my main goal here is not only justice for Mackenzie, but it's justice for all children exactly. nationwide right cps these places need to be investigated oh yeah when they put a child in a home and something happens to that child it should be cps that's investigated exactly and then investigate wherever the child was at because exactly. most likely that agency knew where they were putting that child because they're supposed to do a background and full you know, right. check on a family before they place that child there. It's just like that five-year-old boy they found out there in that shallow grave this past right. week. Right. CPS was in there. They were supposed to have done their job. They didn't. They let that little boy down. Yep. Now he ain't got life either. And the same people let my daughter down. Exactly. <laughs> my daughter cried out for help for two years telling a licensed psychologist behind closed door what this yeah. family was doing to her. And they never investigated it. And then you find out that your daughter's murdered 
And that was, I'm going to tell you, that's the truth behind this. Yes, it the is. truth behind this is Fayette County Sheriff did not want that rate to be told because by that evidence coming out, they knew I'd find the evidence that my daughter had been talking about this. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. They don't want people to know that this child was telling them what was going on, and then it ended up happening, but then it ended up costing her life, too. Right. And that's what this is all about. It's all about, man, I don't want, you know, my pride. You know, I'm the sheriff. I don't want to look bad, man, that I didn't. Because if you go to that sheriff's office and you ask for all my daughter's sheriff reports, they will show you where the hospital contacted the sheriff's office and the sheriff's office was supposed to contact CPS. But also the sheriff's office was supposed to follow up right. to make sure that the CPS went out and investigated exactly. it. Exactly. That didn't happen. Well, everybody wants a paycheck, but they don't want to do their job. And that's fine. I'll do their job for them. And you're doing but a fine job. But I'll expose <laughs> you to do your job. Exactly. And you're doing a good job. So. Yeah. Um, would do that. Bottom line father. is, you know, he's no better than I am. Exactly. The only difference between me and him, the sheriff, is I'm a true father. Exactly. That's if it the was difference. His, it would be a different story. Well, just like I said, when they stole my daughter's headstone, and that's still under an investigation 13 years, years? investigation yeah. on a headstone being stolen. But I guarantee if somebody went to Jeffersonville and stole his parents' headstone, oh, yeah. this town would pay millions of dollars to find out who stole it. Oh, well, yeah, they would. They would do it. Oh, yeah, they'd be, they'd be turning He'd get every, every grant, run. every funding he needed to find the person that stole his parents' headstone. Oh, yeah. But who cares that Mackenzie's headstone got stolen? It's not my problem. It wasn't my child. Right. And that's how I feel that they look at me as. It's not my child. I'm not going to get involved. You're already involved. Yes, they are. They were. Yeah, that's what's aggravating. They want victims to report it, and then when they do, nothing happens. Exactly. And they wonder, and that's another thing. They wonder why victims don't report. Exactly. Because that's why it takes them so the, long. The law is not for mm -mm. the victim. It is for the criminal. Yep. Right there's a point right there. They want to build a $20 million jail that looks like a college so that the inmates have the rights. Okay, where's my daughter's rights? Right. Where's her rights? Exactly. Where's your rights? Where's her rights? Whether she's dead and gone does not matter. No. That child still has rights. Exactly. And you're violating her rights by not doing your job Getting justice to get her. justice for her. Exactly. If that sheriff was a real sheriff, he'd be sitting over here not giving tours. Yeah. He'd yeah. be sitting over here trying to find justice for this little girl. I agree with you. You're 100% true. So, that, I mean, and, and, and that's where a lot of the <coughs> mistakes come from. Yes, People... Is. You got so many victims out there that live the life they live because who helps them? Exactly. When they go get, try to get help, the people that's supposed to protect you tells the person that is, oh, yeah. hey, well, your wife was just in here telling us you beat her, you did this. So that, that person's even more mad oh, than yeah. he was the first time, and he's going to pay back. Well, they don't know what they're doing. And I feel that most of this stuff is all about money. Oh, yeah. Grants, oh, yeah. funds. It is. And like I said last night on my live feed, and I meant it, with children's services, they rather go after parents that are raising their kids right because they know you're going to fight. You're going to spend money to fight to prove your innocence to get your child back because you love your child. Exactly. They know the ones out here with the needles in their arms and, the, and molesting these kids and all that, they don't have no money to fight. Right. That's why they most of them get free public defenders when they go to court. Right. So there's no money there. Right. So why would we take a child from that environment? There's no money there. No, no. That's true. It's all about that green stuff. And reputation. Yeah. Well, and reputation. As you're right. 
Just they all like, need to vote. Just like I sit yeah. here, I sit here today, and I've watched now. I've seen probably 50 people now go in that jail on a tour. I could have sat here and told you what it looked like. <laughs> Without even going on the tour, I could have told you it's all green inside. Well, you'd have you to know? tell me because I've never been in the <laughs> visiting room one time. But I, all out of those 50 people that I've seen go in there, most of them were senior citizens. Yeah. That don't have Facebook. They don't know why this table's sitting over here across on the sidewalk. And I don't blame them, but there's a true story over here. And like I said, I, I'm all for a new jail, yeah. But like I said, it's a jail. Right. Not a college. Not a hotel. And I saw the blueprints and I saw the drawings on this new jail. And it does. You might as well go out here and close down Southern State and make it the jail because that's what it looks like. That's stupid. It's got a big, gigantic glass front on it, you know, uh... A place for them to take inmates outside so they can get fresh, crisp air. You know, yes, we're on Robinson Road. Are on Robinson Road is where they're putting it. We're, we're right out there. I mean, there is no place. That's Probably out there dump. by the gun range they use. The only, about the only vacant land out there is the old dump. <laughs> <laughs> that was there when I was a kid, and it's full of toxic waste. I mean, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Yeah, you're probably right. Out there, probably beside the progressive school. That's about the only vacant lot. And, he, and here's the thing. They, they want to build this jail, and it's supposed to hold 120 inmates. I guess is what it is. It's supposed to build for 120 inmates. Something around there. They got that many right now on the warrant list for violation of probation. So as soon as they build it, it's going to be full. Oh. So what are then are they going to do? Again, you're still going to have to send inmates to other counties. Yeah. And they're going to still have to pay for that. Now we're going to pay for a $20 million oh. prison, $800,000 to run that prison, and pay these outside facilities to come in to give the inmates mental health and all that. But on top of that, you're still going to have to pay to send other inmates somewhere else because... That's going to be full next. They instead build a new jail, they need to build a rehab center. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not voting for it. Not this time. I think you have not to. Until, not until they get Ms. McJustice for McKenzie, I'm not voting for anything for them. Well, and that's the other thing that upsets me. Like I said, they're all about rallying and getting this $20 million for this new jail. But they couldn't get the money to pay for DNA to put the man that raped and burned my daughter. They can't get that they money. They can't even take her to a decent place to do an autopsy on her. Took her to a fire, a fire station. station. Yeah. Ridiculous. They might as well have done it right there at the, at the cemetery. That's just ridiculous. There's um, some jewelry up here for the kids. Well, we just wanted to come and give you our support, Don. I thank you so much. And you know you always got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to stop until I get it. I don't so, blame you. Um, I'll keep sharing and putting the word out. I'm not getting any younger, but, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> but I'm hoping that I see justice before my time. Um, I know even if I don't, I will. On the other side with the highest judge there is anyways. That's right. They might get by with it on this earth, but they can't never run too far from it. Right. Good Lord's always got them. Well, like I said, um, one thing I do know is they're the ones that are not sleeping at night. Wondering when that day's coming that they're going to kick their doors in. You reap what you sow. So, and like I said, uh, here within a month, I'm letting it get a little warmer, but I will be in Tip City, where the mother's at, and I'll be doing a live feed there. And you will let us all know. Oh, yeah. Everybody, everybody, everybody will know when I go there. I want to see that one. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see them all anyway, but I want to see that one. <laughs> I got a question. Yes, sir. If they're innocent, why don't they come up here and give their DNA so it's matched, see if it's a match? Uh, and that's that's a good question because I've asked the same thing. I mean, all he has to do is walk up and give it right. to him and shut my mouth. Um, no, no, no. 
it's, it's not hard to do. That's what I don't understand. But some people, you know, or he's afraid to give his DNA because it might be somebody else's child that's sitting over there in the uh, CODIS waiting on a hit. Somebody else's child that he's done. And there could be that part too. Uh, fear that it'll hit somewhere else. Um, like I said, I think it was wrong how they did mine. I had no problem giving my DNA, but to lie to me and say it was just for the fire and, and right. just for the death of my daughter and not tell me that my child was raped. And by my rights, when I was cleared by ATF and the fire marshals, I should have been told then everything about my daughter. And they did, and they try to hide the rape, and that, that bothers me to why were they hiding that rape. And the only reason you would hide that rape is because, A, you know the DNA is there. That's, the, that's the, the key evidence of this. That was one thing they didn't, wasn't able to destroy. So that DNA is the thing that's going to put that person away. But then it makes you wonder, does that person that's DNA is matched to, do they have something that's more powerful than my daughter's case that's keeping them from... That's what, that's what I was going to tell her, you know. I sat there and thought about that, and thought about that every time we walked in the city and I'm like, there's something. And I, I, I agree on one thing. There's something bigger than what happened that night to Mackenzie. And I think there's more people involved than what's being told. And uh, it, it's going to come out. I mean, it's going to come out. Eventually, it's going to come out. Somebody out there knows the truth. Somebody does know the truth. Somebody knows what happened. And it's going to happen. So they collected your DNA illegally? Oh, yeah. Illegally. Illegally. They made me sign a document, which is in here. It's in this page, in this book. And in there it says, you know, where you read uh, your constitutional rights. And I'm given permission for you to take my DNA for, and then it tells what for. Because I have the right to say, whoa, 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 no, get a court order. Right. If it was me. Right. And they put in there to compare with fire and death of McKenzie. Did not say compare to the rape of McKenzie. Right. So they lied to me. But then the sheriff thought he'd be smart because he knew I wasn't going to hit. And I didn't hit. But then he took my DNA and ran it through CODIS to see if I had anywhere else that I could possibly hit. So, they pointed their fingers long enough at me. And now, it's pissing them off because I'm pointing my finger at the guilty party. And that's that sheriff. He knows exactly what he was doing. He just got caught by a dumb redneck hillbilly. You know, with no father. education, you know, I don't know nothing. Uh, yeah, disgruntled father. Yeah. And uh, he got caught. And I'm not hiding. You see where I'm at? My, my evidence book sits right here. I'm sitting right here. My family's sitting here. I'm here. He can come across that street any time. The donuts didn't bring him in. But he don't want to go public <laughs> with my questions to him. Because he has to answer my questions publicly. I'm very sure the donuts would have brought him over. <laughs> and nobody's going to believe the bullshit that rolls out of his mouth. You can only blame the dead so long. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's been six years since those people have been dead. And I've already found multiple stuff past that six years. But then I go to a commissioner's meeting. I hand them $2,000. Yeah. Here, go get the DNA. I'll pay for it. I seen it. And then turn around, and they're going to ask me, well, does the sheriff have all this stuff? Why are you asking me if the sheriff has? He should have everything I got in that book. But I, I can guarantee you one thing. They don't. I guarantee you they don't have everything I have in this folder. There's no doubt in my mind. And, and all you did was ask for it? All I did was ask for it. The father, all I did was call and say, hey, I want this, I want this, and they sent it to me by mail. You can see right here, this is how they come in the envelope, yellow envelope. And it states right here, Office of the Corner, Montgomery County, 
Dayton, Ohio. It's right there. Stamp. Comes in the envelope. Everything was inside what I asked for. I have all the lie detector tests, results. Unbelievable. And all I did was ask for it. That's all they have. But then they want to come to me and say, can we get a copy? No. And then that's the thing, just like with the clothes. They try to tell me they were lost. That's what started this. Because I asked for a touch of DNA to be done on my daughter's clothes after watching the uh, John Bonet story. Oh, yeah. And when they fi I found out that, oh, man, touch DNA. You know, they can pull DNA off of clothing. So I thought, I'm going to ask for my daughters to be done. Maybe they can figure out who was in the bedroom with her that night, touched her clothes. And I come to them, and they're like, oh, no, we lost the clothes. We can't find them. And I went home, and I looked at my wife, and I said, man, something don't seem right. You don't just lose this. So I called Montgomery County. And the coroner gets on the phone. He says, who told you they were lost? I said, the sheriff did. They ain't lost. We destroyed them. What do you mean you destroyed them? We destroyed the clothes. We were told to destroy them. We destroyed them. He's following orders. But there was no chain of custody in destroying those clothes. There's actually no paperwork somebody signing and saying why the clothes need to be destroyed. Right. Then you had the sheriff, that's when he come, when I went back and confronted him with what I found, uh -huh. then it was like, oh shit, you know, he now he knows the clothes were destroyed. Now we're going to do. Now what are we going to do? <laughs> oh, well they were wet and singed, that's why we destroyed them. So then yeah. my next move, Montgomery County, hey, can you send me the photographs of my daughter's clothes on her body when she was brought to your facility? Yeah, sure. When I brought, I got the photographs which no father wants to look at those photographs. Oh, yeah. But I had to because I've been lied so many times. So when I looked through the photographs, the first thing I noticed was my daughter had soot on her, on her body. And where her hair was laying on her neck, when they flipped her hair back out of the way to do the autopsy, you could see the little swirls of her hair where the soot, you know, couldn't get to her skin. So then I'm looking for water trails. Since my daughter was supposedly wet from the fire hoses, I'm looking for a water trail. Not a single water trail nowhere on the body. Not a single bit of water anywhere on her clothes. They're not even wet. Well, my daughter in the photograph also has two ripped holes in her panties, and they're not singed. And anybody who knows, panties are mostly made out of polyester, that kind of material. So when heat gets near them, you know, it hardens around the edges, makes a hard crust you know nothing so no sin but then Vernon turns around and prints in the newspaper a month later he don't even remember what he said and he says well the fire never reached the child the fire never reached her bedroom okay if the fire didn't reach then how was there sins yeah. on her clothes yeah. see he forgot him he's like the mother forgets what he said because well, he's trying to lie right and um uh, so then while I'm going through these photographs, I proved they weren't wet and sin. So my next call was to the fire marshal. And then the fire marshal said, water never touched your daughter. So then I moved from there and I went and got the ambulance report when they loaded my daughter that night in the ambulance. In that ambulance report, they put in there, when my daughter was loaded into the ambulance, she was dry. Right. Killed it. Killed it. And that's why he won't go public. And and that's why the sheriff won't go public with me because I can remember everything. I can remember every time he came to my house and said one word out of it, I can remember it. He can't remember what he said to me. But he knows I got tape cassettes, so I can replay it back so that he can you know, remember his story he told me, but he don't want to face the public because he can't remember what he said to me. He can't remember what he told the public. You know, just like, just like the phone conversation with her, my wife, where he said, oh, well, if BCI found anything from the exhuming, they'd have already notified me. 
He didn't even know that I already called BCI and the lab up there already said they had DNA. But then he tells her on the phone there was no results. And the way I look at it, if he could do this to me, he would do this to anybody. He's been on this way too long. I moved up here from Florida in 97. He was sheriff then. I came from Florida in 95. <laughs> but I didn't move here first. <laughs> but, you know, that's this is like I said, that's more important to them. Look at all those sheriff cars sitting over there. All the for a tour of the jail. And then I look over here behind me. Excuse me, bud. And there's signs right there. It says, vote yes for a Fayette County new jail. But do you see one of these posters anywhere on any of those buildings? Of course not. Do they even They're have one inside? They inside, yeah. If you go to jail, you you'll see it. You got to go to jail to see. see one of them <laughs> yeah. But there's a courthouse. There's a courthouse across the street. There's the jail. There's the sheriff annex building. I don't see a poster nowhere. But I see all these signs up about a new jail, but nothing about. Justice for McKenzie. Yeah. But I, I, you know, it's it's not, you know, I'm trying to trash the law enforcement because there there is good cops. Do not get me wrong on that. One was just right here and shook my hand and gave me a hug right here in the parking lot. There is good cops, but there also is crooked cops. It's no different in anywhere in any business. You got good people, you got bad people. But, like I said, it ain't just the sheriff's office behind this. Your children's services failed my daughter. That's where it started. CPS seems to fail a lot. Of they, they started it in the beginning because that's who my daughter was crying out to. And they ignored her because I was a man. And because I was a father that had custody of three kids. So they ignored it. But now they can't answer to it because they know that my daughter was saying, hey, I'm being molested. And then she actually was the day that she was murdered. Careful, Lola. Yeah. Here, come here, come on. I got to put my jacket. I think in every state CPS tells children. I've got a cousin in West Virginia. Well, he was murdered just a little under his third birthday. She was almost three days younger than him. And, of course, we got family in West Virginia. You know, they all had connections to doing the lie detector test. Mom's boyfriend's doing time for his murder. Mom's boyfriend couldn't pass questions about if mom had anything to do with his murder. How, you know, my mom threatened to go kill her ass, you know, because my thing is, how the hell are you going to leave a three-year-old to fight for them themselves right. while you take off with your boyfriend and your other baby? Right. Well, you know, and just like with my daughter, the lie detector test. If you look at the lie detector test, the questions they ask, anybody could have passed. A third grader could have passed these questions. But they only asked about the fire. They didn't ask about anything Nothing else was asked about my daughter. That's like, did you touch this child? Did you ever whoop this child? Did you ever... The important questions. That you know, have been and they knew. The they knew it was already suspicious. Because they're the ones that asked for the rape yeah. test to be done on my daughter. So they already knew in May that this was suspicious of more than just the fire. But then we go take a lie detector test and nothing's asked about McKenzie. It's only asked about the fire. <laughs> but then you still have one person that failed that lie detector test twice. Probably the same one that did everything So else. that's the person that I believe with the fire because they're the only one that failed the fire. But I guarantee you, if you ask questions about McKenzie, I guarantee you. Is it the same one that you showed the picture of him having her name tattooed on? No, that's the boyfriend okay. that tattooed my daughter's face on the chest. I told my mom that, showed my mom that picture. I said, you know what I said? And that's a little creepy in itself. Yeah. Well, what, what I was told by a psychologist that... That was a trophy.
That's what that is. That's a trophy. That is not that he cared for McKenzie. Oh, yeah. I grew up watching cop um, shows. Every time they do something That's a like trophy that, by putting in my daughter. Because I can tell you right now, the first thing he did was when he had that tattoo done, she, he, she made comments. You know, the mother did. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, my God. This is the greatest thing I ever saw. But then they sent the pictures to me. Like, here, look what we just did. You know? to get even more under my skin they sent the photographs of the tattoo on his chest yeah so <laughs> yeah yeah that's real creepy in itself I saw that and it should it's, uh, <laughs> cold chills down my spine and I guarantee you when they make an arrest I'll be the first one in that courtroom Asking for that tattoo to be removed. I will be the first one to ask for that to happen. I want that tattoo removed. You're not going to put my daughter on on a rapist murderer's yeah. chest uh, for a trophy for to glorify what he did. Of course, because he's not going to, like I said, I grew up watching cop shows, so he's not going to, like in most victim cases like that, they keep something of the victim. Right. He went around and nobody would have thought that we're putting in that situation as far as doing anything to her because, like I said, most perps keep something of the victim. Right. And he probably figured nobody would have taken the Well, the bad part, the bad part about this is um, it was her school picture the day of her death mm. is what he tattooed on his chest. That's this picture that's here, that picture it? that's on the posters he took that photograph and then had them tattoo her on his chest and if you look at the photographs even on these posters you can see the marks on my daughter yeah um, of the day of her death and no, nothing's even been questioned about that and I even had the photographs blowed up which I asked the sheriff to do <laughs> to blow up the photographs well, and look at the yeah, marks. Yeah, he's not going to do nothing. But I mean, it's ridiculous to have to go all these years, you know, without answers. And then, like he said, not even being able to just get the truth out from him. What well, it is, is you don't want that kind of reputation. Exactly. He wants, yeah, he thinks, you know. He wants the same reputation as he always had. He don't want to everybody to know that he covered up a murder. He doesn't want anybody voting him out of office. Is what it, exactly yeah. what it is. I was just telling Kim, I follow you on Facebook all the time. Because I don't live in Fayette County. Right now, my mom and my son do. But, you know what? It just... That blows, I've got my little girl's gonna be two in October. And the bad thing is, yeah, there are psychos out there. There is. And for him calling you a disgruntled father, well, yeah, of course you're gonna be because, yeah. like you said, you're getting lied to. Well, I asked him. I remember. Right I remember that day when he told me that, and I said, "Well, what am I supposed to be happy?" And he just stood there and looked at me, because that's what I asked him when he called me a disgruntled father. He said, "You're just being disgruntled." You're trying to get to the bottom okay. of it. You're trying to get the answers you that you know. When when you him. look at this case, who wouldn't be disgruntled? Oh yeah. Yeah, if you wouldn't be disgruntled, you ain't a parent. I can tell you that right now. And you shouldn't have any children in your care. Exactly. Um. You know, like I said, I'm I'm not gonna sit here and say that I painted roses and I was a good guy in my younger days. I wasn't. <laughs> But I didn't rape no children and I didn't murder no children. Yeah. You know, if you want to sit there and condemn me because I've been busted five times for driving without a license. And oh, paint wow, me, that's nothing compared to... <laughs> and paint me as a felon because I drive without a license. That's nothing uh, compared to half the things <laughs> that go on in this world. That's the bad thing. I mean, here's a guy that, you know, like I said, I got misdemeanors for driving without a license yeah. been interviewed 17 times over my daughter's death you got a mother and a boyfriend both of them have felonies 
and only been interviewed once. See, that's ridiculous. And one of them that has a felony, the boyfriend, well, one of the felonies is beating a two-year-old child in South Dakota, severely beating See, this that child. that right there should lead them into looking a lot harder. They'd rather look at a guy that drives without a license. It's easier for them. Oh, yeah, they take, take the easier job over <laughs> the hard, you know, all the paid, stacked up paperwork you're going to have to fill out and everything else. And the bad part about it, I'm the one that found that information. Not the Fayette County Sheriff's Office. They didn't even know it existed that he beat this two-year-old. I found it while investigating my daughter's murder. See, I've got my daughter, I've got him, I've got a seven-year-old nephew, and I've got a four-year-old niece. But when you're investigating a murder, you're supposed to do all background checks on oh, everybody, people that did Any possibility, it, right. possible suspects, exactly. But they surely did a thorough one on me and found out I was a person that drives without a license. Wow. <laughs> but then they, they, they missed the one that beat a two-year-old almost to death. So, that's ridiculous. but that's, that's the education behind me. That's the education behind me. That's how they train their, remember the three-day sleep cycle. Mm -hmm. You know, we let people murder and go home for three days sleep because it was so traumatized on their brain that their brain's not functioning to be able to answer our questions. So we send them home for three days. Then we bring them back and then we question them on the murder. I never even heard of that till this oh, case. Oh, I've got, I've got it on, on a tape recording yeah, of the de lead detective oh, saying... Yeah. That See, that's the first they, time I ever heard of They that. do a three-day sleep cycle in Fayette County. <laughs> so they're not going to have... They can't tell the but, whole truth that they're but, wanting to get. But they pull me over for driving without a license, <laughs> and I go to jail immediately. They didn't let me go home for three days <laughs> so I could get my story straight. <laughs> wow. So that's the education that we, we train here. Yeah, any parent in their right mind would be doing exactly what you're doing over this. And my brother would my brother would just find out who it was and just go kill him himself. <laughs> or do to him what he did to his kid, you know. All we can do is keep fighting. All we can do keep is up, keep yeah. my posts being shared. Keep them out there, keep them going. And eventually the right person will see it. Eventually. Well, like you said, it's gotta get Eventually get you gotta, somebody's the, Right now we have to get we gotta get around the corruption part. Yeah. To get somebody in here that's gonna do it the right way. Well then anybody who's got a good conscience ha anybody you know, that's a can, parent. I, anybody that cares about their children. It. And that's why I said you have to sit here and think about you have to put your feet in my shoes. Oh yeah. And to understand what I'm going through and why I'm fighting the way I'm fighting. And if you ever get to that point, you'll understand. You'll do the right thing. Yeah. And uh, like I said, it's so easy in the beginning for them to say, oh, this was just a fire, this was just a fire, and all of a sudden the child died in a fire. I mean, if you look at all the newspapers, and I have every one of them, uh, you see in there where it says always the father's trying to get answers, the father, you don't see nothing about the mother. I mean, even the only article the mom was in was when she lied and said there was never a headstone. But I have photographs it, that was what of firemen that carrying, that, uh, carrying the headstone to her grave. But they're liars. They weren't carrying a headstone. They were just carrying a big rock, you know. And, and this town believed it. They literally believed there was never a headstone. And there's photographs of it. Photographs of firemen. I doubt the firemen were lying yeah. when they were carrying a headstone to a child's grave. So, but I will be doing another one of these. I don't know where I'll do it yet. I haven't determined, but I will be doing another one. Thank you. Um, on her birthday, which is May 30th. May 30th. Yeah. She actually died uh, 20 something days before her ninth birthday.
But anybody that's here, you know, there's a free tour <laughs> <laughs> of that building over there. <laughs> you can go over and walk through with Vernon Stanford as he explains uh, the reason they need a $20 million jail. I think everybody should go over and hold one of those posters. Mm -hmm. Well, they have one. Yeah, no, I mean, we ought to carry through them through. Like they have one, yeah. but you have to go to jail to see it. Well, but, we could take a tour. Or you have to carry donate money to somebody who's in jail, but it's in that building. Yeah, I've seen it in there. And, you know, we us taxpayers, see, we paid for that porch right there with the nice, beautiful windows all the way around it. And you see they got a sheriff sticker on there, but they don't have a poster hanging yep. for the community to see. That's exactly what they're saying about over here. They're... You and then over here, you've got all these nice, beautiful windows. At one no, time, they were no windows. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. And there's we not even a single over poster over board. here. Y'all want to? But we do have posters right there that say, vote yes for a jail. What's he going to say? We want to take a tour. We carry a poster with us. <laughs> Y'all want to go? Yeah. I go, I ain't coming out. They won't let you in. Deny Donald Brandon from coming in. Yeah. I've already seen it. I can well, tell I you. You've seen it, I can tell you right now, it's green. What's, what's he going to say when we all go walking with posters? It's all green in there, and you get an orange and a white striped suit. Or a black and white striped suit. <laughs> So, I mean, actually, actually, the mother is a, actually has wore one of the suits. And they probably have that suit in a picture frame. I don't know, they both ought to be hanging on the wall. They both need to be wearing oh, no, they all should be wearing one. They will be. Sliders, yeah. Sliders. Actually, when I went, we didn't even get a suit. You wore your clothes that you came in. They took your, you know, personal items and your shoes. Because I remember I slept in my jeans and a t-shirt because I went to court the next day. And I slept on a cot. And that was it. I mean, Mackenzie's here at being with you, keeping you going on this, too. And from watching the live news feed, you got support the Lord. Right. Where are you going? Huh? She wants to take the poster. Oh. I don't know if she'll let you if I'm not your mom, but. <laughs> There's a lot of people. We can get when you are her mom. Oh, no. Exactly. I'm going to put my cigarette and I'll put my pop in the car. See if I can get a tour. You ain't got no warrant, do you? <laughs> <laughs> they might. Don't start with her. I think that's what they're trying to do. This was an entrapment. Uh, you know, let's go toward the new jail. While you're in here, we're going to run your name. <laughs> Almost like that one show they do on 2020 where they have a free gift. Hey, you want a 19-inch flat-screen TV? Come pick it up. And everybody shows up to get it. They already they have warrants, and they just arrest them as they come and get it. It's an empty, it's an empty box. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna get rain. It's supposed to How long you gonna be sitting out here? Not long, I can tell you that. <laughs> With this breeze and everything blowing, and the Cold and the rain so end up sorry. coming down, it'll be like, ah. <laughs> yeah. We're going on a tour. All righty. Whoever else wants to go can come. We'll take our posters. See what he says to us. Oh, yes. Like it, I'll, I'll stick yeah, around and wait. I'll hold <laughs> sure her. You, come back out. Oh, wow. <laughs> you want your chair? No. <laughs> Cigarette. A little pumpkin here. Look at here. She's got a bracelet. Just don't let her put it in her mouth. Can you say hi to Daddy and Mommy and Grandpa? Can you say hi to everybody? Say hi. Hi. Say hi, baby.
Okay. All right. Thanks, buddy. Are you tired? Huh? Huh? Are you tired? Huh? You know what I should do? Piss everybody off. Take one of them posters and take it in the sheriff's department and tape it up. I don't need no trouble. Hey, I don't have no warrants. Tape it over one of them signs. Well, that's... I yeah. thought about that. They probably yeah. get for defacing public services. Yeah. Hey, I got posters all down this side of the street, all <coughs> the post office, at Watson's, Little Caesars. I got them at Dairy Queen. I got them up at the smoke shop. I got them all over. All over. I took a big stack and just started hanging them up everywhere. I said fooey on it. And you know Allison's not going to keep her mouth shut. <laughs> the jewelry store, I put them everywhere. They got to go to the back door. Where they, take the, where they take the inmates in at. No, they got to go to the back door. <laughs> Allie knows where she's going. Give her a minute. Oh, now they, they'll probably have a fit carrying them pictures in there. Me, I just walk in there and tape them up on their own window. Say, what? You don't want the real picture up? A little steep on me. Huh? Look like a little lamb, don't you? Huh? Because the only picture they see got is on up there? Can you see everybody on there? Yeah. Huh? Where they bring the... All those McKenzie people. Inmates those are McKenzie's followers. Right good see it them? does is tell the inmates. Can you say hi they to They're in there for a life. Huh? Don't I say mean, no contraband of any A few kind. months huh? and stuff. Do you think the inmates going to say anything? No. Even, even if they room. knew something, they ain't gonna tell nobody. I can put one over there at Woody's, but I didn't want to take no more posters from you. Hey there. Hey, you, you want to take one of these? Here you go. Well, I can take it over there, man. They'll hang it. They don't care. Keep the ears warm. Huh? Keep the ears warm. Look at me tape it to the window. Bum, bum, bum. They went in, it looks like. Bum, bum, bum. That would be the best thing to do. Wait. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Did you drop the bracelet? Oh, oh, oh. Let me see. Oh, there you go. Knows there you go. Gonna put that oh, McKenzie bracelet on it. Huh? Got it. Got it. Oh, you got to take her something. I oh, know. She for she, she went out for her birthday today with the her, her big sister thing. She probably Keep forgot. Warm, huh? Allie woke up going, "Is it time to go see Donald? Is it time to go see Donald?" Oh, I need your baby. Huh? I told him, I said, if that one, she doesn't use the same thing. He said, no, he said, I have a gun in my hand. Just go take care of this. That one. Take that one. See him in there. See him in there. Huh? Say hi. Oh, you're pushing all the buttons. Say hi to him. Say hi. Oh, no, no. I Say hi. Wait to him. She kicked my butt. Huh? Maya. Say hi. Uh-oh, she got your blanket. Yeah, I haven't uh -oh. seen any butterflies. Let's get that blanket back on you. Uh, that one's flowers. Oh, he keeps like dropping to everything. Oh, Here. 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 Here's, yeah, there's Here's your bracelet. Here. Here. Huh? <laughs> Here. Got it? Huh? Oh, that's pretty. Got it. No, she wants that. Oh. Was that jewelry donated to you, Doug? Yeah. Oh, no, this? No, I bought it all. You bought it all yourself? Yeah. To pass out to kids and stuff here in memory of Mackenzie. Ah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you dropped that bracelet again. Yes. Ah. Oh. Where'd it go? Oh, right there. Well, I think it's kind of screwed up, like on your sign here. I'm sorry, as a parent myself, my first step's going to go get my kids. Right. If you care for kids, that's going to be any parent's first thought is, me and my son will tell you, I'm not worried about myself. I'm more worried about my kids, or any kids for that matter. So that would be my first step, is make sure my child got out before I did. That's all of them. I mean, how the hell are you not going to take statements from the witnesses, either? Yeah, yeah they had 11 of them, 11 eyewitnesses that night. And then, mm, get a statement. Not a statement one. But the sheriff's wife gave a statement. She was gave a statement. Yes, she did. Pick the color of her book, Donald. Yellow. I told you she got suspended for like two weeks, didn't I? Uh-uh. Yeah. That little that boy that molested her. Yeah, his sister got her in trouble. She got suspended for two weeks. And then she goes back to school, said she's going back to school and beat her up. I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> and she goes, this is the kicker. I'll call Donald. He'll tell me I can. No, you're not calling Donald. Because whenever she gets in trouble, she says, where's the phone? I said, why? She, I'm calling. No, we are not FaceTiming Donald. We're not doing it. We are not FaceTiming Donald right now. Yes, I am. No, we are not. She does like to FaceTime me. They do. Both of them will. Whenever they get in trouble, it's the one that just sat here. She goes, I'm softly. I'm going to I said, no, you're not. My son was at my house. And he goes, is she really going to call my dad? I'm like, yeah, she's really going to call my dad. And she took her, took her phone out. She took her phone like this. She goes, your son's being an asshole. What is it? Yeah. <laughs> you went to death, they signed off on the death certificate. What do you mean by sign off? Well, it's a death certificate. How did they? Homicide. Homicide, okay. It's an unsolved, it's an actually, an, well, it's not a cold case because the sheriff over there won't let it be a cold case. He's saying that it's ongoing, but uh, what it is is uh, my daughter was uh, raped. Yeah. They have male DNA. Okay. And the boyfriend that lived in the home, they still haven't ran his okay. DNA for 13 okay. years. They go to a jury? It hasn't gone nowhere. I mean, uh, prosecutors, what yeah. did they do with right. it? Nothing. They present to a jury to nope. judge you okay. Nope. And that's why I'm up here protesting. Okay. Yeah. So the right. statute of limitations, I still, well, statute of limitations. There's not a statute of limitation on her. Back, on it, okay. Right. Because they don't right. kick in until, okay. Right. So. All right. Because of the statute of limitation being that it was a murder, yeah. there's not one on there. Right. They can drag their feet. Right. Is there one till the rape? person till, dies. Till the person dies. Right. And they still could, but they probably won't. Right. Because people be here, people be dead too. Watch. Right. Because so, that's conscious. I don't know what you're saying in real life. Usually five years, I think. People ask, is there a limitation were, uh, on rape? There is, but. Uh, 
there not be as when a not because there's a murder involved. involved. Um, but also, if you think about it, you know, most children, when they're molested or raped, they don't usually come out until 21, 22 years old, you know what I'm saying, or later on down the road. Well, think about, let's go back to, like, the Cosby thing. Those women come out long after, you know, Cosby was in his 70s, 80s now, you know what I'm saying, before they come out, and they still were able to try them. For it. So, I, it, it depends on the situation. On the, I think you know what I'm saying. Yeah. To determine whether it's a statute. Or it's a statute. So, so, Hi. So, but I know on murder there's not yeah, a statute of limitation. Yeah. So, but that yeah. is bad in a way too because they could drag their feet yeah. well, all the way through it through a murder. Well, so so that, I I know. Right. 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 Well, so I know I said, watching the cop shows, I know there's a statute of limitations on rape, but I didn't think it was when there's a murder involved yeah. as well with that. And that's the thing, the, the sad part about this is some of the things that has happened, mm -hmm. statute of limitation has ran out on McKenzie. Um, her headstone theft, actually the statute of limitations ran out on that now. It's only seven years on a theft. Um, I'm just hoping that McKenzie follows under the guidelines of the murder that it'll keep everything else alive. You know what I'm saying? And uh, But that was his plans anyways. The shared plan was for the statute of limitation to run out on a lot of these things. So then they ain't got to worry about that part. You know, oh, well, we ain't got to worry about statute of limitation ran out. But the good part on the statute of limitation is every time there's a new finding, the statute of limitation starts then. So when I got the letter on February 25th of 2019 that there was positive semen results, statute of limitation started then. So I'm only three months into it. So if they keep this open and won't close it, they would have to stay open anyway. So it's a chronic place. Yeah. And that's what he's doing. He's playing He's playing the system by leaving this an ongoing investigation. Because he knows as soon as he closes it, anybody can come in and take this case, look into this case, and if they find anything that is truth behind mine, then they have to make an arrest. They would have to. So, he's playing the system. He's smart. He's playing the system and trying to drag out this. But, that's fine. I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> and, and that could be the thing. And that could be the thing. You know, if the boyfriend was to pass away, well, because he's dead, they could get his DNA, and then they could take it and go with McKenzie and say, oh, that's who did it. And then they're the heroes. Hey, thanks for having me. Hey, no problem. Thank you for coming. Yep, I will. Trust me, it's going to happen. Oh, yeah. You take it easy. Yep, thank you so much for coming out here. Like I said, I'll make sure I'm in courthouse for the 30th, so... <laughs> Yeah, I ain't going to Just post it where you're going to have it at. Or... Yeah, sometimes I do it at the park. Sometimes I do it here. Okay. Um, who knows? I might do it on that courthouse mall the next time, too. So. Hey, there you go. Between the two buildings. Well, so. like I said, I follow your live feed all the time, so I'll keep a watch. All right. Today. Thank you, hon. Take it easy. Yeah, thank you. I didn't care about it until I was involved. Yeah, I don't know. Must pull them in for questioning. Huh? Must pull them in for questioning. Someone probably got mouthy. <laughs> no, I don't want to go over there. Yeah, I don't want to go over there. I could care less about that jail. Mama, in. Yeah. Mama, this, this. Well, who that was? He came out of the jail tour and came over here. Yeah, I don't know who he is. He asked me what the group was on Facebook. I told him that. He attended my church for a little while. I don't know.
we're having that cool turf because that May 7th stuff. They're going to be doing it. Is that when the vote is? Yeah, May 7th. Yeah. I don't know where they're going to Robinson Road. If it passes. Chris, Chris, Chris. You know what? That should have passed before they even put the police station and the fire department in. That right there's been there. 18, what, 94? Yeah. And there was nothing wrong with the fire department or the police station. Let's start PCI in the fall, Do you? Sorry. Yep. That's their plan to get me in there in this fall. They still haven't come out. The little one probably got mounted. Probably did. I'm going to flip this camera around, though. I want people to see. What's more important to Vernon? Well, when it comes to Donald, See all those people over there on the sidewalks, yeah, on their cell filter, phones? Anyway. But when it These comes are all the people that's going jail. to that free tour really of the jail. That's what's more important than a rape and a murder of a little girl. And you would think they would come over this way to see what was going on. <clears throat> that's what's more important. Wait till Allie comes back over. Send her back over there and be like, hey, go tell them what's going on, Allie. She's probably in there raising pain. Well, what's sad is, is that's all that sheriff cares about. Right there. He wants to be able to call and text the record herald tomorrow and say, man, we had an overwhelming crowd of people that walked through the jail mm -hmm. on the death of Mackenzie Taylor Branham. That's sad. That's what that is. That's disrespect is what it is. Mm -hmm. She won't even mention her name. <laughs> she left the baby again? Oh, Dairy Queen. something they're being told something because they all keep looking over here so what are they being told while they're over there probably told not to come across the street yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they all over there. Well, there's also a prayer meeting over there at they three didn't tell us that when we went in there. at the gazebo oh, well they did that's tied off the gazebo, yeah, the gazebo they just painted it today oh. yeah i saw something on facebook there's a prayer meeting or something All right. Bye. Okay, Sam. What's going over there? I don't know, but man, it looks like it's ready to drop some rain, don't it? It's supposed to. It was nice and sunny and beautiful four, earlier. Four or five it's this. That sun rain. don't went away.
Uh-huh. There was a group out that health fair. About domestic and all that. Crime victim witness. I was a crime victim witness. They do it every year. They have a picture out there. That's the first time I've ever been out there. Yeah. It's a nice thing. It's a nice um, thing they do for this community, that health fair. Maybe all these over here are going to go to the tour. <laughs> tour. The church. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but I got to stand up. You could have my chair if you want it. You oh, can no, sit down thanks, for a little no. bit. I got to stretch my legs. I got to leave here short. <laughs> think I got to go over there to the tour, take my phone, let the viewers see. I wouldn't like to take a phone in. We let these donations take a bail. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, back. <laughs> they have been in there for a while. Said, Longer than most people. Ali's probably in there running around. Well, Phyllis is in there too, man. And I don't know her, but you know Alice. She's Phyllis will tell it like it is, man. She's I'll from Columbus. Right along with her. She's from Columbus, and I guarantee you, she's in there saying something. And trust she me. said something. Alice like, yeah, no. let's go. But she's been following Mackenzie you know since girl, day come one. On now. And they actually were in Tennessee, and they moved up here. And she's had family that actually flew in from Tennessee to Ohio to come to. Uh, I did a. Uh, I did her birthday at our house last year, didn't I? Yeah, because the fire truck came and they did the sirens for her uh, birthday. Because most people have bagpipes. Yeah. And it was cool that Jeffersonville, they brought a fire truck and did it with the fire lights and sirens. Because that's what this is about, you know. And um, it was really, it was good. It was really good. Free tour at the jail. I've had a good outcome though. Good. There's been a lot of people. Uh, I'll probably, like I said, I'll probably do her birthday at my house again. And when we did it, it was cool. Um, other other states, all of us released balloons from McKenzie at the same time. Oh. Florida, there was people in Florida, California, Tennessee, North Carolina. Canada, North Carolina. They all released balloons on her birthday at the same time. Nice. Everybody yeah. videoed it. Yeah. We put it all together. So I'm hoping this year it'll be even cool. bigger. Oh, yeah. um, and a lot of them filmed, you know, did the live feed and filmed it and then you know, tag me in it so I could get the videos and stuff. Uh -oh. They're giving a free tour? Free tour? Yeah. Free tour. Oh, uh, they went in there to get pictures. They already went in there, in there with, uh, they already went in there with uh, posters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 They haven't come out yet. <laughs> yeah, it's been a minute. Probably saying the print now. Probably. Yeah, I think you went They're probably calling Allie's probation officer. Sad thing, sad thing is, they're probably taking DNA out. <laughs> yeah. Probably. That's the only way they're going to let you out. Let's get your DNA. What time is it? 3 04. 4. Probably going to walk down here to this pawn shop and use the restroom. Because they're already gone okay. from there. Is the, is the courthouse doors open where you go in there? You I ain't going anywhere. Okay. Ahead of there. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> Woody's. Hmm? Good Woody's used back there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Nah, I can go right here to this um, pawn shop. They love me in there. They're real good. I don't think they're open.
Saturday. Yeah, they're open. Okay. Yeah. Well, this stuff has got a deposit box yeah. tonight. <laughs> I go over to the jail. Hey, can I use your restroom? Yeah, they're having prayer over there. Yeah. Yeah, today's National Day of Prayer, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, I hope they're not over there praying for a new jail. That's exactly what I just They're good. Deputy there, they probably still. Yeah. I've been in that building, too. <laughs> Quite a few times in that interview room. Yeah, I might go here a minute. I ain't wiggling yet. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean, man. My brother-in-law told me you was a good dude. I said, I've never met him. You know, Bobby Bill, Bobby Hill. Yeah. That's your brother-in-law? Yeah. Married to his sister. Yeah, he's all, he's been real good to me. <laughs> we used to be best friends. <laughs> I said, damn, dude, we've been married 23 years. I messed with him. I said, damn, dude, what you do with me? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to make it to 8 o'clock. <laughs> These clouds are really moving in. <laughs> yeah, they probably won't start with a little drizzle with them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I definitely don't need this stuff on this table to get wet. <laughs> I don't think I'll get it again if I ask for it. Hey! I'm just telling you! <laughs> well, it looks like your daughter won't get no rain. <laughs> I know, she's, she probably ain't coming out. <laughs> she'll, be, she'll be the first one at that age locked up in the yeah. Fayette County Jail. Yeah, they done called her probation officer. Right <laughs> <laughs> see her coming out in handcuffs. Knowing her? Ooh. She probably will. She's over there probably saying, why ain't you over there with Donald Branham? She probably is. If you knew her, she probably is. Oh, yeah. She won't hold nothing back. She won't hold nothing back. No. Not at all. She's probably, yeah. She is probably rubbing that poster in their face. Because she took one of the posters in with her yeah. into the jail. She's 12. <laughs> hey, do you remember this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the little girl that's about this tall. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yes. She... <laughs> that's with my granddaughter. She, uh, our neighbor, her mom and my neighbor have been good friends forever and they're always picking at each other. 
Well, he said something to Morgan that she come in, told her mom, well, my granddaughter, she's seven. Boy, she started seeing it. She said, I'm going over and tell him right now. Morgan said, he was kidding. He was kidding. I said, you should have let him went over. Are you leaving? Oh. She's asleep? come out the back door. Huh? They brought them out the back door. They didn't bring them out the front door. <laughs> they probably escorted them out. They did. They did. Look at them holding them posters. They're still holding them. That is awesome. That is awesome. That's the greatest thing in the world when you see kids holding Mackenzie's poster. Yeah. Allie goes down and completes the headset. Go back and do it again. They were probably kicked they off will. the property. <laughs> they'll probably come. They'll probably come over and tell you. Uh, they told us we had to leave. Look to her, and he said, "He said we can't tell Donald anything because of his theories that he puts everything online. And how are we supposed to investigate a case when he puts?" Yeah, I, okay, I, I hold on. I gotta hear this. Stanford. Okay, what happened? I gotta um, hear this. I asked one guy as he's taking me on tour. Yeah. What's going on with this? Right. And they're all looking at it. He said, "Well, I can't talk about that." I said, "I want to know why nothing has been done." He said, "You have to talk to Stanford." I said, "Is he here?" He said, yeah. He was going around with, I guess, a reporter. She was taking pictures or something. A reporter taking pictures of it? Yeah, that lady right there taking pictures. Oh. Uh, and um, yeah, he was with her, her upstairs. Her and uh, she might be coming over because oh, she was standing there while I was going over this with Stanford. All right. I said, I want to know why nothing's been done. This baby died. If it was my granddaughter or my child, I'd be killing somebody. I'd be in prison. I said, why ain't the mother or the boyfriend nothing been done? I can't compromise the investigation. Donald only puts out what he wants to put out. He said, and if we talk to Donald, he puts it out on live feed, and it will compromise this case. Okay. He said, BCI's been looking at it. They've looked at it. He said, I talked to them twice. Uh -huh. Hello. Hi. Um, I work with the Record Herald. Yeah. I was asked to stop by and get your guys' a story. If you want to talk about anything. Who asked you to stop by and get a story? Oh, he did? Yeah. Okay. Because I was going to be here anyway. Okay. What do you want to know? Well, um, I mean, I've, I've been trying to familiarize myself with Sorry, everything. Bro. But is there... Thank you. I guess, because obviously it is getting closer to the levee. Um, I know you were talking with him. And talking. Yeah, he went on on. Yes. Yeah. Um, is there anything you would like to, I guess, well, need to know moving forward? Well, here's the thing. Uh, what I'm upset about is I have been trying to get the record herald to uh, let the community know that not only did my daughter was murdered in a fire, mm -hmm. but she was raped. And that's never been told that she was raped. There is evidence of that. I have it right here in this book. You're more than welcome to see the evidence that proves that my child was raped. And right here it is. This is from the investigator's report, Montgomery County Coroner's Office. Okay. Now if you can read Read that it says evidence recovered during the autopsy of the deceased. Vagina, rectal, and oral swabs were reported to be positive for semen. Mm -hmm. That means my daughter was raped. Can I take a picture? Yeah, go ahead and take a picture of it. And 
And then, if you can remember, now that date says on 9 06 a positive result came back mm -hmm. for a semen, mm -hmm. meaning that my little girl was raped by a male. And Right here, you can see where they did the swabs, clothing, they collected panties and everything. That does say evidence collected sheet. Mm -hmm. Montgomery County, it is stamped. Why did they destroy her clothes and her hair? Her clothes was destroyed. Right here it says destroyed mm -hmm. her clothes. Right here, clothing. A month before the rape results came back. So my question is, and and I noticed you. She said you was over there while Vernon was talking about my where I share everything to the world. You said you're a very smart man, but. Um, but if you right here is all legal documents, you're more than welcome to look through there, take photographs of whatever you want to take photographs of. I have nothing to hide. Does that sheriff do? Yes. I have nothing to hide. But I also have more evidence in this file than they do in their files. This is why I'm protesting. This is a case 13 years old. And they covered up the rape. They, Fayette County asked for a rape test to be done on my daughter at the time of the fire. I can prove that. That's in there. And when they sent the results and asked for it, when that letter came back that it hit positive for DNA, they put it in her file and forgot about it for six years. They did not profile the rape until 2012. In 2012, they took my DNA, but they have not yet took the boyfriend's DNA that lived in the home with my daughter. Or the brother. So, they're more concerned, as you can tell, of a $20 million jail but they couldn't even pay $1,500 for a proper exhuming of my daughter. They dug her up and they took her to a fire station and did the exhuming in a fire station instead of taking her back to where the original autopsy was done in Montgomery County. They did it in a fire station. And now there's a chance because it was done in an unsanitary uh, place that a defense attorney can say it's contaminated. So I am not compromising. Is yes. that what it is yes. called? That's what this said. case. I am showing facts to a cover up of Fayette County. Because how do you have DNA and you let it sit for, and these are the times. See how many times my daughter, this is the first time, okay? My daughter arrived at a.m. at 5.33 a.m. They called the funeral home. They picked her up on April 27 at 2.11. And if you flip it over, they brought her back from Fayette County back to Montgomery County again. And that's when the rape was asked to be done on my daughter, the test. And then they found DNA. But then the Fayette County Sheriff's Office forgot about it for six years. So my question to the regular Herald is, how do you 
destroy evidence before a test results come back. And then the sheriff in your all's article said that the clothing weren't relevant to the case. How are the clothes not relevant to a case? The child was raped. The child was murdered. I don't actually have an answer for you, but... But if you're going to print a story, or Ryan Carter is going to print a story, it should be about the truth. Those are the lie detector tests. And one of them failed it twice. The lie detector test. That would be... Uh, what's... This? Try to look for the name on this one. Oh, yeah, here he is. This one failed it, right? Here's the results of his lie detector test. And then here it is again, where they gave it to him again, and then here's the results of the lie detector test. Which he failed twice. BCI. Yeah. What? Her last, to her last my daughter's last statement? Yeah, to the yeah 2005. To December. The yeah, to the counselors that she was being molested. And then in 2006, April 27th, today, 13 years ago, she was raped before she was murdered. And the evidence is right there. This is not made up stuff. This is evidence. These are facts. These are letters. Mike DeWine's name's on the top of them. All I want is I want to put in the newspaper that my child was not just a child that died in a fire that was rolled in arson. I want people to know that this was a child that was raped and died in an arson fire. And that male semen was found inside my child. promises to anyone, but I will look over everything mm -hmm. and see what we can collect document-wise ourselves. That's fine. Okay. Good. But thank you for sharing. Yep. But yeah, he just said that oh, he oh, oh. Hold on. Can I get a picture? Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. But he just said that there's a lot of, they have a lot of evidence, but they can't tell you because you'll go live and tell everybody, and that will compromise the case. And if that's the case, they might as well just throw everything out and be done with the case. They are yeah, nothing. They what do they have? Well, supposedly he <laughs> talked to BCI twice in the last two weeks about McKenzie. Oh, really? That's yeah, what he claims. And now let me tell the, now let me tell the community the truth about BCI. I got a phone call three weeks ago stating that they were pulling McKenzie's case off of Dave Horniak, Horniak's hands because they promoted him and now they're going to have to wait for another investigator to come in and look at all the files again and which Mike can take up to another year. Then he's trying to claim that he didn't order no clothes destroyed. Um, that um, that was between the coroner, Dr. Gay, and someone here, the coroner here. That's um, Dr. Gay. Well, then the one down there where they took her to. Ken Harsberger. Well, it was between them two that destroyed the clothes. He had nothing to do with it. 
And I said, well, you he's know, it just seems sure. weird that he's, he's got... He's the one to ask for I the said, rape. He's got all this evidence. I said, you guys ain't doing nothing. You won't even look at it. And he, you know, just kept going on to say, well, I've got a lot of things that Donald don't know. He said, believe me, I know he's hurting, and I feel for him, and I love those kids like my own. He said all three of them. And then talked about how his wife used to do the visiting center mm -hmm. when you and your ex was fighting. And that, um, you know, he is fighting for justice for McKenzie, but he can't. He's had three prosecutors look at the case, and all three of them says there's not enough evidence to stand up in court. So they have to wait until they get that one last piece of the puzzle. And he can't tell me, you know, what the piece would be, but the last piece of the puzzle to get it taken in the court. And I said, is this ever going to happen? And he nah, said, get one from Tim for me. He said, um, well, I don't know. He said, I'm praying that we will find the piece and get this solved. He said, but, you know, I can't guarantee anything. And I said, well, what about all the evidence that came up missing? And he said it didn't actually, it didn't come up missing. I said, well, from what I'm hearing, all the evidence came up missing. He said, because you're just hearing bits and pieces. He said, Donald's got his theory of how it went, and that's what Donald's going to stick to. And I said, well, have you tried talking to Donald? He said, it don't do me no good. He said, because he's got his way of thinking, and I can't give information, what I do have, to him, because he'll go live and tell everybody. He it's said, then that theories. one certain person, you know, that did it, is going to be gone, because they're going to catch wind. Well, if they know that one certain person, by the well, evidence like they I said, got. I said, who I'm is, just saying, if they got that one person, if, if me going alive by something he's going to tell me and that one person is going to hear it, mm -hmm. then he knows who that one person yeah, is. and that's what I said. And I said, to know that one person who they are, then why ain't they gone and well, got them? Said, because DNA, all it takes is matching DNA and it's over that's with. That's what I said. I said so he's full DNA. of shit. I said, so what's going on with that? Why ain't nobody been tested for that? I can't tell you if people have or not. That would compromise my case. <laughs> and then I said, well, I said, um, you know, it's just kind of fishy. I mean, suspicious how she, the fire starts. She goes door to door asking for shoes. And knowing her baby's in there burning, I said, there's a semi parked right beside the house. They couldn't save that little girl. They didn't want to save her. And he said, well, like I said, you know, you, you talk to one person and they say, well, I heard or I, you know, I think this is what happened. He said, we can't go on I heards and I think. He said, we have to have actual proof. Really? Yeah. That's why the 11 people that actually, Marianne, went to their house, that ain't I heard. Oh, I know where you're coming from. If, if that's saying. true, then everybody that sees something that they question you about, it's because you saw or you heard something. Mm -hmm. So they're full of shit. They have no clue how to investigate. I need to go over there. And I heard. No, you don't, you I need to go over there and like, literally tour. break it down to how you fucking investigate. Take a tour. Ain't no, because I'll smack the shit out of somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't in the rest of no damn jail. Are I'm not even free? from here. Did you ask, <laughs> you should ask them then, what's this three-day sleep cycle? I forgot about the sleep cycle. should have asked them if that I question. If I would have remembered, since, I would have. Since we're all sitting over here and we're so stupid to really believe that I'm compromising this case... Yeah, I, I forgot about that, or I would have, because I was just throwing stuff at him, you know. And he stood there and just talking and talking like that reporter said. She stood in the hallway and was pacing back and forth because she wanted to get done. That reporter that just stood, she will, they will not print that story in that record exactly here. Because right Vernon has told them they're not allowed to print a story about Mackenzie's rape. They don't want the people to know that. Mm hmm But, but by him saying that, I'm glad he said that. Well, you know, if Donald Branham will expose everything, and then that person that we know who it is that did this crime will find out that we're looking well, at them. He said everyone, Are you freaking everyone kidding is me? a suspect. Everyone's a everyone. suspect? Oh, now everybody's a suspect. Everybody that ain't what he put in the paper. Yeah, he said in the paper, everyone. yes. Oh, I've everyone. Even, I've but even told no Donald. Okay, everyone's a suspect. So what we need to do is make a line from that sheriff's office. And I don't give a damn if it wraps around the whole entire fake county. One, every one of us go one by one yep. into that sheriff's office and give our DNA. Yep. I'm willing to do it. Yeah. Yep. I'll, I'll, do do it. it. I'll do it. So that we can narrow it down yep. to that person's and are no longer in this county. 
We I, know where they're at. I asked They're him, sitting in Tip City, I asked Ohio. Him why you were the only one that had to give DNA, do a lie detector's test, and mother and boyfriend and other guy right. didn't have to do shit. He said, you don't know that. I said, well, really? as far as I know. God, I, I want to show you guys something, but I just can't. I got to bite my tongue because I don't want Vernon to know what I have. But I guarantee you, I know more than he thinks I do. Well, I, I guarantee you do too. He, he said, well, I, I understand uh, Donald's frustration. He said, I really do. He said, and he's a very smart I don't man. Really think he does. He no, understands my frustration, and I'm a very it. smart You're man. You're a very smart man, he oh. said, and, um, but you just don't have all the facts. Oh, really? And, yeah. Oh, you know, the, the hair's... The, the but he, no, he's right. He's right. I don't have all the facts, because I can't prove yet he's behind it. I don't have those documents. So he's right. He's right. Let's give the sheriff credit. He's right. I don't have all the facts, because I don't have the facts of who's covering it up. And the reason why they're covered up. But I have the facts to prove who did it. Yep. That's why he's over there sitting there telling people I'm a smart man. Yep. He said you're a very smart, intelligent man. <laughs> and that he just can't talk with you. He used to talk to you. Yeah, I used to be a dumbass time. redneck hillbilly. <laughs> and he <laughs> said <laughs> he said that <laughs> you put out that you've been interrogated a bunch of times. I have been. And he said he said, if you want to call, you coming in for a meeting being t interrogated, then that's what you were done. But you volunteered to come in and have meetings. But you want to put out there that they're only focusing on you. They have been. And, uh, well, I understand Well, did that. you ask him why his wife gave the the, uh, the statement she gave? I didn't think And about pointed it. a finger at me? I didn't think about it. I wish there was someone else there to help me think of stuff. Damn, I was trying I to ask questions. I mean... She was with me listening to it all. We were, that's what, that's what took us so long. We stood there talking to Stanford. I was bound determined. I said, well, where is he at? Why he said, well, you... he's in the building. I said, well, I said, I, said, he's I, said, right I want to right talk to him. Why didn't you ask him to come over here? Oh, I'm sure well, I, I asked him, I said, say? he was standing right up them stairs. I said, he looked, we were standing, we were standing down right downstairs. at the end of the stairs by the shower. And then he looked down and waved at me and I went. She was like, because I asked the cop where Stanford was. And he said, oh, he's here somewhere. And then she looked up and seen him, and right she said, there. he's right there. And I said, well, I want to talk to him. <laughs> and he, she said, he said, do you want to look at the showers? I said, yeah, I'll look at them, because they were at the bottom of the steps. So I went along with the bullshit, this is awful, you know, yeah, 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 whatever. And then Stanford came down, and I said, I have a question for you, and I held the sign up. And he said, what, he just what do you mean? Across that all I said, I want to know time. about her. Why isn't nothing being done? Right. And then, you know, he started talking about... He is doing stuff. He works the case every day. Every day. That's a lie. That's what he claims. He said it's a and that's the thing. See, I can prove his bullshit. I can prove his bullshit. Because when I have other agencies that say they've called down here, mm -hmm. and they know for a fact that they have not they have not interviewed that mother or boyfriend since 2006. So they're not working the case because the first question they should be asking that mother, who the fuck raped your little girl? Exactly. That's the first question they should be asking her. Because you're not going to tell me she doesn't know. He said, well, I know right, he's out man. there now, and that's his right. He can protest. That's right. And I said, have you, you know, tried talking to him? Maybe go talk to him? And then he just went on talking about something else. <laughs> <laughs> talked about her, her, his ex-wife or whatever, bringing the kids into visitation. visiting center. Yeah. And she thought the world of them, and Mackenzie was a sweetheart. And <coughs> he, he's like... She didn't love the kids, and since they were like right here. Oh, his wife? Yeah, yeah. his wife took him to the visit. Was in the visiting center. Yeah, she ran the visitation she, yeah, she, center. Yeah, she. she was she fired. She used to be there when uh, all your kids would come in. And, yeah. Um, she she thought the world of your three kids, and she wouldn't love let anything happen to them. Really? And um, that's why Joy Stanford's remarks to me and my wife is right over there can witness this when my son appendix ruptured. And almost died at the visitation center. They didn't even call the squad, which there's the visitation center mm -hmm. right there, that great building. Yep. Okay, behind it is your EMT. Mm -hmm. My son was collapsed on the floor during a visit with the mother. They didn't call EMT. Called her to come and get my son. We take him and rush him to the hospital. 
the hospital tells us within two hours he'd have been dead. The mother gets mad because my other son left with his brother and didn't finish his visit. And then my son at the hospital went through surgery and I had to contact her, to, you know, by law to let her know that my son was having emergency surgery. She shows up at the hospital and the first thing she does, she calls the police on me. Nine cops come to the hospital to arrest me because the word they got was I would not allow her to see my son. I wasn't even back there. My son told the nurse he didn't want to visit his mother. So then Joy shows up with Vernon. And Joy Stamper said, oh, my God, I can't believe your son's been here 11 days and she only visited one day. Well, there's and more in the 11 days more that my son was spiking fevers and ready, was having problems through the surgery, she didn't ask to see the other son, Douglas. She didn't even stay. When he come out of surgery, he, Kenny, the boyfriend, was in the parking lot. How much longer are you going to be? How much longer are you going to be? And looked at my son and said, I've got to go. i got to be at work tomorrow morning. He almost died on the table. And that's when she realized, and she did, did she or did she not? She said, I didn't think she was that kind of a woman. That's a God's on Bring that son of a bitch over here to me. I told him to come out. Man, bring his ass. I want a one-on-one -on -one live publicly with that with him. More people go on tour and ask him to come out. <laughs> I done took my tour. I can't go back. I'm serious. Bring his ass over here. I'll show you facts. Please quit. They don't ask anything when you go. You just go to the door, ring the buzzer. They'll let you in, take you on a tour, and you'll see Stanford. And everybody can ask. Wow. Kind of stuff I I'm forgot that. Compromising Definitely. this case. Y'all hear this. I hope everybody's hearing this. Hearing that I'm compromising yeah. this case. Yeah. I don't know the fact. What did he say on that and that on the news? We're waiting on that person to come to me and tell me yep. he did it. Yep. I thought that's what he said. So what piece of the damn puzzle is he missing? I don't know. He said there's it's one right. piece missing, and that's... I, I, you, piece know what the, you know what? Piece, there is one piece missing. Yeah, I'm arresting somebody. Say accounting to Vernon P. Job. Stanford. No, it's the sheriff. Yeah. That's the piece job. of the puzzle. You put his ass in that puzzle, and it's solved. It's done. I'll be the first one to tell him. Man, if I go over there, I'm going to jail. Bomb me out. Because I'm going to tell you right now, that fires me up. I He's going to sit there out. and use the excuses of me compromising my daughter's case because I share it with the community of how crooked this son of a bitch in town is. That's the truth. They just don't like it because I have a voice. I wanted to say so bad. I'm not here for the jail. I'm actually here to find out about her because I don't even live in this town and I can care less about your jail. Holy <laughs> shit, man. I better get going. It was nice to meet you face to face. <laughs> Sorry, I got all in up hey, no, man. That's all right. We support you all the way. Good luck. <laughs> we'll keep following. All right. Bring your trash bag back because I got a bunch of trash. I don't want to leave it. I'll be in there for littering. Oh, yep. Donald. Uh, oh, what's up, man? How you doing? Bud. All right. How, How are you? Doing? Fine.